Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Shows. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Royal Rumble campaign. Time for Water World. It is the last mission on this really, really, really intense campaign. And we're going to see how well our team is going to hold up against all of the crazy, crazy aliens. So, without further ado, let's jump into it and uh, see if we can actually try to uh, get a couple of scouts and uh, get this one going. I want to try to not waste as, uh, or waste as little as possible on all of the items that we're having. So the only thing that I will be doing for the very first okay, interaction okay. is actually summoning someone with a rift beacon and we'll take it from there nice we got Roby slightly damaged apparently from the from being summoned but we still got him which is good I like what I'm seeing Commander moves over. Hogbite is taking the front line. Tired of waiting around. Euler is taking All good right, full go. cover. Shooter moves it over here. And for now, I just want to make sure that we have a nice little fire line going for us. I can already sense that this is going to become intense because the moment that we're uh, triggering anything this uh, will immediately turn into a long winded hard firefight of course he dodges so that he can multiply Good, some clone shenanigans, some overwatches. Hell yeah, it has officially begun. Hearing a bit stomp stomp, that's almost, to me it almost sounds like there's a sector pod. So, Yellow Alert really will change how this mission is normally played. The idea is typically you like run into one pack and then they, uh, you do one pack at a time. But I think we need to be quite aggressive from the get-go to not be overwhelmed by the amount of enemies that are going to pour in. Good. Commander's avatar is moving forward. Even if he's hit, that's not the end of the world. He will regenerate. Just need to make sure that we're not like completely letting him get uh, killed. More Overwatch is removed for now. We're giving the commander a nice LA protocol here. And I need scouts, so. Where are. Where are my scouts? Hmm. That did not work out as I have envisioned it. Repositioning 
Diddy G. If you say so. Diddy moves into a really decent position here. Uh, before we waste lightning hands, let's think it through. Okay, what we're really going to do is serial. Um. You know, I I would see an opening here. I think I know how to abuse it. Shooter moves up. Yeah, I was hoping we would hit all three. It's still an opening, it's just not as abusable as I thought it would be. Uh, still good. Okay, that worked well. You can see I'm using my cooldowns, but not the consumables if possible. Very well. Now, we need a few... Scouts, and I was hoping the explosive rippers would do that. Clearly, that's not the case yet. So, again, we're being careful here. There's no point in uh, being overly aggressive. Could move up, but that could trigger. Oh, I don't want to risk anything. I am watching. Diddy has plenty of free reloads, so we're actually going to use one and just overlay kill zones. Come get some. Affirmative. Covering now. Typically, with yellow alert, the enemies are coming in at the exact same position than the previous. Uh, than the previous enemies. They could come in from that second uh, mm, second door. But it's more likely that they run into the first door. Which would be hilarious because they would be running straight into avoid rift plus two kill zones. Which would be actually quite funny to see if I could pull it off that uh, that would be awesome. Unfortunately, it's just a no event. Uh, we got five points healed on the commander's avatar. And we will stay a little bit back with the avatar. As I mentioned, he will regenerate. But for now, we are okay. Sonar, taking a more aggressive uh, position for all of the armor that he has available. I hope it's worth it. Shooter does the same on the other side. Very nice. What's over there? The guys with the heavy armor are standing in the front line. Just like you would expect them to do. Here I come. Scanning. I'm on it. Overwatch. And I will play this boringly pro uh, protective because I really don't want to be caught out in the open. I'm sort of hoping that the uh, that we're getting a scout.
I was hoping that we could mind control someone in the first pack, but the commander was just at the wrong position and when I moved him in he took so much damage that I didn't want to let anyone live, but elsewise the strategy could have been mind control one of the aliens and just use it as a scout. We do have our Psy operative with us. We could definitely use mind control there as well. However, that is only a one submission thing and I would rather not waste the domination ability. Instead, we're waiting until the commander is like fully backed up to maximum health. And let's see if we can summon a, an explosive ripper. We can. Next turn, we're going to use that to our advantage. Unfortunately, the other alien summonings did not work. For now, let's place him here. All right, surprised to see that no other enemy pack has triggered. I was halfway sure that that would happen. Is our um, psionic ability back up on the commander, the Void Rift? That usually takes a lot of cover away and just deals with many, many of uh, the enemies at once. So I would like to play around that cooldown as much as possible. We are your desert, your perfection. I'm deeply concerned that we might get crashes on the last mission. Just the amount of enemies that I'm seeing here. Uh, not sure. Hmm. Okay, so how to approach this in the best possible way? I think we're just going to move in. Nothing yet. That gives us a time to check. Yep, Dimensional Rift not yet ready. Psychon, that was not clever. We're taking another Overwatch round and let's just move the Ripper back. On Overwatch. I will sense I'm on it. Moving to Overwatch. Scanning. Overwatch. Okay, next turn we can engage because then we have the Void Rift. Still seeing the ground shake, that is very likely a sector pod. Still waiting for that ultra large sector pod. Uh, I'm not sure if the mod just didn't work, but we've never seen it. Could also be a downside of playing with too many different enemies. That's really one of the lessons from this campaign. The enemies are great. Uh, my, I really appreciate it. Uh, the depth, the production quality, the voice lines, the abilities and so on and a lot of them caught me off guard. So that was all good. Problem is if you just put too much uh, into one campaign it becomes unplayable and unsolvable and also uh, actually quite bland. It's almost like having a soup and you put every single spice in there at the same time. That's not making it better, it's making it uh, convoluted and a bit disgusting. Ripper continues to do his uh, thing. Uh, we can see that it is possible to move up a bit further. Rolling. That's not immediately triggering, which is good. That's exactly what I was hoping would happen. Because okay, now we have go. nice little full cover that we can uh, deal with. It Shooter moves clear. up. 
Euler takes position right, here. Yep. Go. We need high ground. We don't have that yet. But we'll get it. I, I guess that'll be okay. okay. Two solid shooting lines. In I'm case they on. are going to rush. We have a lot of overwatches. And look at that. I predicted there was a sector pot. Oh, and an Archbishop. Well, great. We start with a miss. 12 armor. Holy. Well, great that Guardian triggers, right? But 12 armor. That's a tough cookie. We will need Euler to bring that one down. On the other hand, if we could hack it, then... Mm. 12 armor against Advent. Yep, that's not bad either. I am hot. Okay, apparently none of them could reach us. Not bad. I mean, we do have a secure position. We're mostly out of line of sight. Now. Yeah, we could do that, but I would much rather like to aid protocol. In this case, good old Euler, because he's going to go to the front line in a second, and then we're haywire protocoling. All right. 30%. Gimme, gimme. No. Didn't work. So, problem number one, there is way too much in the way. Don't like that. We can't, it seems that we can't even hit the sector pod. Can you please tell me, uh, that's the beauty of vision indicators or the lack thereof. I think that this here is going to allow us to see him. If not, we need to use one charge of the jetpack. Okay, so that works. now. Let's start with Rupture. Massive hit. Love it. Well, unfortunately, we will need to trade advanced stream. Oh no, I could have used Inspiration. Mm, not perfect. Could have played that better and saved uh, the cooldown. Okay, well, you know, I mean, Inspire still would work, right? Right.
Um, hmm. What are we going to do? Moving in a bit more aggressively, I suppose. High ground will help us out. And the drone is immediately down. We got death from above, but this guy still needs shredding. And I know who could shred him. Sonar over here would be the perfect person to do that. We go good damage oh yeah 25 hope oh. that indeed is quite good damage um, out of curiosity we hit the pathfinder so we're not immediately using that instead how about moving up here with Roby and look, Roby could simply kill the sector pod. Okay, cool, cool. Very good. I saw that there were quite a few enemies, so we're not going to push in. Like I initially saw, uh, thought there was a brief moment when we could see the entirety here. But I think it's actually better to trigger them now for technical analysis. Oh, <laughs> okay. Ah, you gotta love yellow alert. Okay, cool, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, that's good. Definitely going to kill zone. Good. Time to hit most of them with uh, a huge AOE combo. If they decide to move in further, that'll be their demise. Could charge in and then move back. Problem is, Mutant is the worst target uh, for a melee attack. We're keeping um, in a, uh, ourselves in a safe distance. No point in rushing it. I'm going. Maybe to Overwatch. Let's rock. Good, I think we're done. Check it before you get too close. 
All right, keep it going, Bill Dilly. Very nice. Dilly is just holding the uh, zone really, really, really tightly. They took a revenge kill on our Ripper. Everybody else is tactical analyzed. You guys are going to regret that in a second. <laughs> 13 points of damage. Holy. Hogbite is doing what Hogbite supposed to do, which is tanking. Everybody else is just overwatching. What a solid first uh, activation or second activation. The Ripper really helped us. And we have just killed almost all of them. Nice, very nice. Okay, uh, the idea now is <clears throat> to not create too much trouble. Would like to mind control one of them <clears throat> and still keep the commander somewhat safe. Bishop would be really good. Collector assassin would be good. Now nah, the bishop, because he does have a cleansing aura around himself. So if I try to go for someone else, that would automatically be cleansed. Oh, for him it fails as well. Mm. That's unfortunate. Okay, which in return means we're going to take some shots onto half fight. Well, thanks to his defense, uh, they have a hard time hitting him even. Continuing to go in, <clears throat> the idea here is to really clean up as much as we can. We need some more damage. Let's do this. Let's start chipping the others down, shall we? Run gun for sonar. On the move. Moves up. Good hit, but unfortunately not a kill. But thanks to Reaper here.
Pogba just continues his rampage. Let's get that assassin down. Oh, he dodged. Okay. Well, that is rare. This time, Hogbite is actually the one that is cleaning up the entirety here. Tired of waiting around. Grail moves up. Euler moves up. I hope it's worth it. Shooter moves up and we do have the option for a big fat null lens here. Alternatively, we could kill, uh, try to kill the bishop. Getting that bishop down wouldn't be bad. I like the idea. Let's try that. But he has sustenance, right? Yeah, he does. Run and gun with Roby. That assassin is standing somewhere back. It's not in the front, that's for sure. Can we get the Banshee? Nah, potentially not, but we can we could at least injure it. Good, we got momentum. Which means Hogbite gets into a position where he's pretty much out of the immediate impact zone of the enemies and they now need to come to us. The bishop had enough at this point. He's just putting Ogbite into a stasis. He's like, nope, had enough of that shit. Yeah, that's not a problem that will regenerate automatically. As long as they don't kill him in one go, we should be fine. Roby, on the other hand, uh, and that's a bit of an issue. There's the overwatch, and there's the kill. Oh wow, even a miss. Diddy's position is way too exposed. Should have put him into a different spot. You will regret your existence. We fight as your ascendants. Now is the fate of your ascendants. And an entire new squad is coming in. Oh, my lord. Well, the beauty of um, Yellow Alert, right? Go 
wouldn't be a party if it wouldn't be for the entire map to join us. Crazy turn. Let's start with a rocket barrage, shall we? Because nothing really says thank you as much as a rocket barrage does. We do have a stasis if need be, or alternatively, alternatively, we're just going to do AOE damage. Psi operatives are imbalanced. Panicked. Okay, cool. And ruptured. <laughs> Irrelevant. Very good. So, let me get that straight. We got six enemies. Perfect timing for cereal, by the way. And the reason why I pick Serial is because we're almost out of free reloads and Serial refunds two instead of one action uh, point. That is important because it gives us one further round of reloads. Also means we could attack from low ground if we wanted to. We're green to go. Good, that assassin. It's a bit of a dampening. Well, a kill isn't bad either. Before you get too close. Implacable. Because we don't uh, need Roby to take too much damage. Okay, the other option is... To do a bit of a slicey slicey here. And just kill everyone. Not enough movement to do both. What we would have with uh, jetpacks. a reposition theoretically speaking for ourselves here or we could reposition putting ourselves up here and then this entire cluster here would be effed reposition is a valuable resource question is how often 
will I need to use it? Having him in high in high ground though is equally valuable. I want to make sure we're not losing too many hit points. Uh, and no, Black Flame Grenade is definitely not going to come right now. That's 12 hit points. We can easily do that. Uh, got an advanced teamwork. Black Flame Grenade still remains uh, there. Magnetic Minigun. Uh, that could set them up for some trouble. I think we're going to do exactly that. Very good. And now it's a matter of cleaning up. Euler is back in the house, baby. And he is as angry as always. Doesn't take no for an answer. Hell yeah. Okay, so I got one. Cleans up an entire side by himself. So yeah, that reposition ability was well worth it. Made up my mind. It was bueno. Good, we're going to scout with the avatar. You can see the honor guard here. Which I think we can't kill. Hmm, what are we going to do? Tell you what, we're in a safe position here. Might as well just reload. Try to hit this guy. Oh yeah, easy peasy. Hair trigger free action for an implacable. Moves up over here and overwatches. Billy G reloads and then overwatches because the guy might come in. I want Dilly to be fully healed. And Grell begins to move a bit further. There could still be a couple of enemies coming in. I tell you what, might as well kill zone. Why not? Can't hit him, so let's injure him really well. Maximum damage. He's down to one hit point. Any hit will kill him. Oh, he dodged it. Clever. Or lucky. Damn it. Damn it, he removed our kill zone. More enemies. But those are only brutes, so I'm not too scared yet.
Oh. You want to come in and get some? Be my guest. Oh yeah, bring it on. If you want to uh, rush Hogbite... Oh yeah. Hell yeah, baby. Bring it on. Great. Hogbite's back in the game. Massive Brute Rush. This would be Star Wars, uh, Starcraft uh, 2. This would be Brute Wars. Okay, well, we need to put the commander back. Lots of disorientation that, however, will go away very soon. Right, disorientation still there. Hmm. Starting with injuring the Mac. Now this is a bit the problem because we've now officially run out of uh, reloads with Dilly G. Gets us into a tough spot. Very well. Good. Commander's avatar is going for full cover. And starts hitting some of these guys in order to soften them up. Okay, cool. Very good. Can tell you, this is going to be fun. Nope, still not that grenade. Saiken, please. Be patient. Euler is going to do what Euler is always doing, which is cleaning the mess up. Oh, come on. All right, so I try to replay as much as I can. We're going to try the cleanup. Yet again, it was just a matter of time until uh, the whole thing will become unstable. Luckily for us, we have a really good position here, and Euler still has plenty of reloads available for him. That's good. We can kill him. There you go. Can't kill the others though. Uh, Dead eye should be a brutal kill. Very good. Worked like a charm. Which means that elite assassin. Uh, collector assassin is still out there. Saturation fire should kill both of them. Potentially even resets. No, because we didn't uh, we didn't directly target them, but that's okay. That's okay. I mean, could be worse.
How about... How about... We're... I'm going. Getting a little bit closer with the shooter. Reposition so that Roby actually can participate in the combat and then I would love uh, to do an inspire gosh I absolutely love psi operatives they are so good that brings uh, Euler back on track baby Look, um, I mean, we could shoot from here, but that is stretching it a bit. Sona has enough armor to pull it off, and enough aim to be successful. Yeah, trigger in the placable. Okay. Look, I don't want to charge too deep because I know that I'm going to regret it. Instead, we're positioning ourselves nicely. No, no, certainly not. That's good. No hit points wasted. Straight up healed to uh, the maximum that they can be healed to. Oil overwatches and yeah, we're just taking a good position here. Roby in the middle. Good, uh, good hit, or, well, leg there off, not a good hit, but the miss was okay, I guess. Rift keep. already see it. Oh, two Rift Keepers. Oh, boy. Please have mercy. And a gatekeeper prime on top of the rift keepers. Wow. I think that's potentially the most dangerous pack that we have fought so far. It would be absolutely hilarious if we could mind control one of the Rift Keepers. Good, moves over. We're hitting everyone. Even the Rift Keeper. Good. And can we reach the Rift Keeper? That's the question. The answer is no, and that is unacceptable. I need to get really close and hit that guy. Because what's else why is going to happen is the enemies are going to spawn more and more and more stuff. <sighs> I could stasis one of them. 
potentially the right call. Don't have Reaper. The gatekeeper prime not worried about that I'm more worried about the rift keepers which is funny if you think about it uh, we have lost all of the cover here Problem is, the Rift Keeper really, really, really needs to go down. Like Flame Grenade disoriented. So that could be a solution. Can't tongue pull Euler back. What I could do is go bananas and just try to use the high ground here. Ready to rock. Um, do we have high ground and good line of sight is the question. I mean sort of over here we could hit uh, the Rift Keeper. problem that I'm seeing is no one can really reach uh, the Rift Keeper. That's affirmative. Sonar moves up. That Purifier isn't really our biggest concern. I would much rather like Rapid Fire. Okay, there's a potential to hit him. Well, that's a start. We could go down, but there is no great cover anywhere. So one thing that we could do is we could stasis ourselves, but that we only have one stasis. Um, difficult turn, really. Am I accepting that we're going to see en more enemies coming in? Potentially not. Good free move, kill and start to unload here. That would also be a quite a Hail Mary play. I don't like that. We could hit again. We can kill one of the Rift Keepers, I'm pretty sure. With enough investment, that is.
move up, double shot. I don't have a, I don't have a better idea. Leaving it untapped will be unwise, very, very unwise. One thing that I learned about Rift Keepers is you gotta kill them in the first round. And yet another uh, crash. Good, we're back. And this time the double hit uh, occurred, so Euler actually made it. I tried to replay it as best as I could, I suppose. And uh, let's now jump back into the actual gameplay. So, I see her shot. Very much shred him. Okay, hair trigger? No. Didn't happen. So, what are we going to do? I mean, look, we can ki we could kill the Rift Keeper, right? Yeah. Equally, Roby could charge up, kill the Purifier, and then continue to move. That other Rift Keeper could be in trouble. I think we're not going to get a much better chance. So it's a kill, potentially take some damage, but we should have untouchable first before he explodes. Good in terms of hitting everyone. I mean, hmm. Could position ourselves over here and then just shred storm into here, right? Find myself using way too many one shot items, but might as well. Good. Roby, full cover. Takes out quite a few of the enemies. That Rift Keeper is in dire straits. Um, already decided that Euler will stay in the open but with a stasis so really what we can do at this point is advance teamwork Hundred percent chance to hit and to kill of course he will go into sustenance which sucks but he does have poison running on him, so that might be a kill. Team working over to Hogbite, as indicated, before we're then. Before we're then. Stasis, Sing, Oiler. Let's 
Good, that would be a nice hit. And we should be able to get out as well. Sort of hoping for a disorient. Didn't happen, not the end of the world. Sona takes an 8 protocol just for another overwatch shot but also to be in full cover and grill overwatches. Poison damage should have happened right after the stasis ended. I love it when those uh, things just don't work out. Probably is in a tough spot. Okay, I can live with uh, those types of reinforcements. Fantastic. Commander Avatar is burning. Great. And is poisoned. It's just getting better and better. And that is why you want uh, to get the Rift Keepers down. Devastator and Honor Guard. What kind of pack is double Rift Keeper anyways? Out of all of the things that you could spawn, why did it need to be a double rift keeper? Roby is dangerously close uh, to going down. So is the commander, but the commander will automatically heal, Roby will not. Just for the record, I think that the Rift Keepers are an absolute uh, nightmare by themselves, together with the mod that allows them to essentially summon twice and the summonings uh, can immediately act is unbearable. No counterplay, summons a right? bunch of monsters, and you just gotta deal with it.
Wow, a commander. Great. Well. Our avatar has taken a bit of a beating, but so has good old Roby. I will not use revive now. Not even sure why exactly he is stunned. Black flame grenade would not be bad. We need to kill the Rift Keeper, that's a given. And the only way to achieve that is to move in and explain to him why he's absolutely wrong and not welcome. Rupture. Could use a hair trigger, by the way. I'll get a disconnect instead. Okay, we're back. This time it worked. We hit the Rift Keeper and it's almost down. Full for full transparency, got a hair trigger over here. Could uh, use a normal shot. Uh, so the commander is slightly injured already. Um, yeah, we could amplify, but I could also just try to dish out as much damage here as humanly possible. One less would still get him down though, so might as well amplify over here. That's the right angle to attack. And hopefully a kill. Well, as much, as close as you can come to a kill, because he's now in sustenance. Interesting, the pistol deal more damage than the sni sniper rifle because he has so much armor. I think what we're going to do with shooter is effectively cleaning up as much as we can. Oh wow, not even killed. Commander slightly moves back. Devastator should fall. Uh, question, what are we going to do? We could go wild and do a bit of a melee uh, track. Problem is the mutants are quite resilient against that. We could equally go for a minigun. Sort of move to here, minigun everything down. We still have him in line of sight. No, we don't. The moment that we move, it seems we're going to get poisoned. Are we already poisoned? No, we're not. Rocket barrage could hit and actually kill a couple of them. 
Not a bad idea. Hogbite is standing in the open, that's fine. Um, his immediate uh, bladestorm will kill the Devastator. So that guy is going. Prime will get a free shot and we will hopefully kill the command uh, commander. So rocket barrage it is. That Centurion might survive. Surprisingly enough, the Dem Demolitioner also survives. Nice, that's a great shred. Nasty amplify. Like it. The jumps of the Icarus armor are free. That is one of the benefits of the mods that we're using. But it has a high cooldown. Now. Play our cards right. This might even be a cleanup. Check it before you get too close. Um yeah no, we're not going to give the Prime Keeper any more actions, but the Centurion might die. Question of the day, what do we do with the Gatekeeper Prime? I don't want it to run into us and get dozens and dozens of actions. Commander at some point will heal himself. Oh, I forgot that one. Yeah, Roby needed healing. And I tell you what, as anticlimactic as it sounds, I think we're just double healing Roby. No point in losing anyone that early. Could have taken that shot earlier. Yeah, we're reloading. Like I mentioned, Gatekeeper shouldn't get the extra actions. Nice. That was a great dodge. Where is the Bladestorm? There we go. Good, at least we're, we've lost the burning. Can we mind control? Commander's avatar is moving up. And 100% mind control on the prime. Mwah, chef kiss. That's the type of scout we needed. That's the type of scout we wanted. And that's the type of scout we finally have gotten. Euler, another free reload, full cover. Moving up, Back in. reload whenever needed. Good to go. Sona is not moving. 
I don't want to get poisoned for nothing. What a tough pack. Super tough. Grell reloads. And starts moving up. Tell you what, if someone is coming, might as well kill Zone Overwatch. Would be cool to get a couple of shots. Nope, not happening. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, we can resurrect any single soldier here. Not the drones. Yeah, I think we're going to take this guy over here. Thank you. And that's another scout. Commander's avatar moves up. Grad positions herself. And yeah, let's position ourselves in full cover. I will sense any disturbance. Got it covered. Good, nicely reloaded. Affirmative, covering now. Now it's time to move in much, much deeper. Gatekeeper Prime is doing exactly that. Good old double move. Psy Zombie is our other scout. Gives us ample opportunity to move up. I'm going. Without feeling bad for rushing in. Tongue pull. Yes, please. That's a great item, by the way. And as I say that, we crash again. All right, so this time I moved everything already. Not a very uh, difficult turn to replay. We need to hurry up as long as the mind control lasts. And let's explore what's in store. Oh, Venators. Hmm, beautiful. Good. Did the miss give us another action? Uh, apparently that is not the case. Psy Zombie moves up as far as they can in the in the distinct hopes of finding more 
that's not the case. Look, I mean... Question of the day is, if we were to go to here, could we hit the Venators? Potentially we could. Go more aggressive than that and be here. Problem is the Venators can teleport really, really, really far. Commander moves up. So, I think up here is not bad. Might not be able to see all of them. Up here would be definitely very aggressive. But I think it's the right play. Gotta know when to be aggressive and when to not be aggressive and this time this ain't a we want to be aggressive hmm tell you what Good time for death from above. 15 to 17. Eleven. Hmm. Not quite a kill. Except for Dead Eye, that will be a hundred percent kill. Cloning is going on. Look, I think we're still better off dealing with them now than dealing with them later. trigger unfortunately we can't just move out hmm let me think Full fledged reposition wouldn't be bad. That's not a hundred percent kill. Uh, dive bomb is a free reposition. down and that's about it I uh, could hit the venator not kill it though
Do we have any more run and gun? Yeah, we, we would have a jetpack if we really wanted to um, to go all in here. Might not be the worst idea. We got Inspire on top of it, so... Jetpacking. Next up, what are we going to do? Uh, we are killing the chrysalid. Easy death from above. I got it, right? Oh, it doesn't trigger. I forgot about that stupid mistake. But that's fine. We're still okay. Thankfully, we got the imbalanced tongue pull. Followed up by an inspire. Thank you. We could face off, uh, that's a good chance to kill him. The problem is, we don't have this guy in range. Oh boy. Details, always the details. Sonar. Hands over and te a teamwork. To Grell. Um. Look, I don't think that we're actually going to use capacitator, uh, capacitor discharge anytime soon. Might as well just kill that guy. And we are officially clearing the entire house. So that is good. Good. So we killed three of them, but apparently it's still not over because Ready to go. Uh, the mission has not yet uh, shifted to the next screen. Have we been successful with our cooldown and resource management? Uh, sort of. It could have been. Uh, could have uh, been better. Could have been worse. I think packs like triple Venator are always difficult. Double uh, mm, double Rift Keeper two are equally just annoying. Oh, we even made it. Fantastic. Which means after a couple of crashes and a hard-fought uh, victory against 54 enemies, we're now in the last room. Leave a comment down below and let me know how many soldiers we're going to lose. Uh, or if you even think that we're not going to be able to pull this one off. That's going to happen next mission and hopefully I can finally conclude the run and be done with it. Thank you so much for watching guys. It uh, is an actual pleasure to get the run all the way to the finish line. Um, if you enjoy what you've seen, consider subscribing and hitting that big fat like button. It is sonically active, so uh, you might want to click multiple times. Uh, to go uh, get through its defenses. Thank you and have a good one. Bye-bye.